This training video examines the exporting function found in Video Surgeon. There is a previous video that we've done on the differences between saving and exporting, and in that video we give a brief overview of both of those, and I think they would be, or it would be useful for you to watch that video if you haven't, because we're not going to repeat some of the things that we discussed there about exporting. Here, really, with this video, we're going to get right to the exporting functionality and just tell you how it works. If you click the export button, you can see you have three options here. You have export the entire video, export the current loop, and export all loops. Let's talk about what those three options mean. The first one, export the entire video, I think is self-explanatory. It will export everything down here, including all the changes that you've applied. Uh, if you Go to the second option here, export current loop. It means it will export the current loop or the selected loop, which is this loop here, loop two in this particular instance, because it has been selected by the placement of this progress indicator inside of the loop. That's how it is selected. So that's the second option. The third option, export all loops. And if you selected that option in this specific circumstance, what it would do is it would delete any of the video that is not contained within a loop. So to be specific, it would delete all of this area here before loop one. Between loops one and loop two, it would delete the space. Between loops two and loop three, it would delete the space. And after loop three, it would delete the space. And it would save the data only within loop one, loop two, and loop three. And it would place that data back to back, one right after the other. So that's what exporting all loops would do. Now, next, let's just select any one of these so we can see what the Windows dialog looks like when it opens up. Here it is, and you have several things you need to consider. The first is, of course, to give the file a name because you don't want to overwrite the underlying video. So if you give it a different name, you'll be exporting and making these changes permanent, but you'll be creating a new video with those changes embedded in it. So you still have your old or your existing video unchanged. So that's the first option. The second thing you need to select is the file type. And there are several file types here you can choose from. We've selected AVI as the default. And we, by default, also choose this option, save in original quality. So that simply suggests what you think it does. Um, if you know a lot about videos and you want to deselect this, then you can go ahead and play with some of these other individual fine-tuning things here in terms of the frequencies that you want to use for audio, the bit rate for video, the audio bit rate here as well, as well as the size of the video. And all these things can be adjusted. Uh, as well as choosing mono or stereo for audio. So those things can be adjusted if you deselect this save in original quality. But what I would suggest for most of you is that this setting, which we select for you by default, is probably what you want to use because you want to preserve the quality. You don't want to degrade it or make it less. Um, these are options that you may want to consider, but again, for most of you, this is probably the appropriate setting. The other thing that you need to understand is that when you export, we have a second selection or checkbox over here which says on export create number of loops specified in the loop count. And this is deselected by default. And when it's deselected, when you export, you will simply make a single copy of whatever it is that you're exporting. However, and this is very important, if you select this, you will make on export the number of copies that you have selected in a particular loop. So for instance, let me just close this. If we go to this loop and we look at the settings within this loop, you can see that the loop count is 999. What that means then when we go back to this export box, if we select this, it means it will make 999 copies of this particular loop. And I don't think you're going to want that, so you need to be very careful about using this. Why is it here? Well, there are many times this will be very useful. Instead of having 999 set for this loop, you might want to have two or five. So that means that if you export this loop, you would make 
two or five or some number of identical copies. And there's a good reason for doing that. It sort of then allows you to mimic this concept of looping or playing something repetitively in the exported version. But clearly you don't need or want 999 copies. So that's why you just need to be very careful that when you choose these export options, that if you select this, you know exactly what it is that you're doing. So it's a powerful tool. It's a very, very useful option to have. You just need to be acutely aware of what it does and make certain that when you select it, you know what you're doing. So with that, we will conclude this video tutorial on exporting in Video Surgeon.